Imagine a small community where just a few hundred individuals reside. In this neighborhood, families are raised, neighbors assist one another with everyday tasks, and people regularly socialize. At first glance, this scenario seems quite ordinary. Millions of similar communities exist worldwide. However, there's a significant twist. This particular neighborhood represents the last remaining group of humans on Earth. No other populations exist elsewhere on the planet. This isn't the plot of a dystopian movie. Rather, it reflects a scenario rooted in historical reality. There was indeed a period in human history when the global population dwindled to a mere handful of individuals, numbering just over a thousand people. What catastrophic event could have annihilated 99% of humanity? When and why did this dramatic decline occur? How did this small group manage to survive such devastation? Moreover, could a similar catastrophe threaten us today, pushing humanity to the brink of extinction once more? The notion that humanity once teetered on the edge of extinction might seem far-fetched, but its origins lie in scientific research. In 1998, an influential article titled Late Pleistocene Human Population, Bottlenecks, Volcanic Winter, and Differentiation of Modern Humans was published in the Journal of Human Evolution. The study was authored by anthropologist Stanley H. Ambrose from the University of Illinois. Ambrose proposed that approximately 75,000 years ago, the human population experienced a severe decline, undergoing what is known as a population bottleneck. In anthropological terms, a bottleneck refers to a mysterious and critical period, or potentially multiple periods, during which the number of ancient humans or their closest ancestors drastically decreased. This significant reduction in population size would have profound effects on the genetic diversity and survival of the species. Ambrose observed a notable decrease in the number of archaeological discoveries dating back to around 74,000 years ago. The scarcity of findings supports the hypothesis that a major population decline occurred during that time, suggesting that humanity faced existential threats that nearly wiped out our ancestors. Understanding this pivotal moment in human history not only sheds light on our resilience as a species, but also raises important questions about our vulnerability to future catastrophic events. By studying these ancient bottlenecks, scientists can better comprehend the factors that threaten human survival and develop strategies to prevent similar near extinctions in the future. The clear conclusion was that the scarcity of human remains wasn't due to inadequate searching efforts, but rather because an event had occurred that significantly diminished the human population at that time. There simply weren't enough individuals to leave behind numerous campsites and tools. Additionally, Ambrose noticed alterations in the bone structures of ancient humans, suggesting that living conditions and the quality of their diet had drastically worsened during that period. Ambrose proposed that these changes might have been caused by global climatic disruptions, which he associated with the beginning of one of the minor ice ages. Moreover, the initial factor in this sequence was the colossal eruption of the Toba supervolcano in Sumatra. To give you an idea of its magnitude, this eruption was the most powerful in the last two million years. Enormous amounts of sulfur and ash were expelled into the atmosphere, triggering a volcanic winter. Consequently, a significant decline in the human population appears quite plausible. However, this elegant theory faced substantial criticism. Critics argued that the available data was too scattered and incomplete. Climate models from that era couldn't accurately predict the full extent of environmental changes, and archaeological discoveries only provided fragmented pieces of the overall picture. However, two decades later, in 2023, the scientific community employed a new method to investigate the past, the genetic analysis of ancient DNA. When researchers compared this ancient DNA with that of modern humans, they encountered some unexpected results. A comprehensive study published in the journal Science uncovered something unusual. The reality is even more fascinating and peculiar. The genetic variation observed within human populations from different parts of the globe is significantly less than the genetic diversity found among chimpanzees inhabiting different sections of the same forest. This remarkable similarity implies that all of us, over 8 billion individuals, are descendants of a very small group of ancient humans, literally just a few hundred individuals. In essence, we are all related. So, was Ambrose correct after all? 
Partially, yes. It turns out that humanity was indeed on the verge of extinction, but this critical moment occurred much earlier, approximately 930,000 years ago. Scientists estimate that between 930,000 and 1,080,000 years ago, the human population experienced a drastic decline of about 98.7% for reasons that remain unclear, leaving only around 1,280 individuals on Earth. To put that into perspective, that number of people could comfortably fit into just a couple of residential high-rise buildings. Imagine that. All of humanity across the entire world existed in just a few high-rise buildings. In fact, during that period, humanity was not merely a step away from extinction, but was almost a millimeter away from disappearing entirely. A single catastrophic event, or a shift in environmental conditions, could have led to the demise of the remaining small group of people, effectively ending human existence. If that had happened, neither you or I would be here today. To be fair, these numbers may not represent all the human ancestors living at that time, but rather those who successfully passed their genes on to future generations. Nonetheless, this does not diminish the extraordinary nature of this fact. We are all descendants of a handful of ancient hominids who barely survived the evolutionary bottleneck, managing to endure against all odds. Moreover, according to research, this precarious balance on the brink of extinction lasted for a considerable period, at least 100,000 years. This extended duration underscores the resilience of our ancestors and highlights the fragile nature of human survival during that critical juncture in our evolutionary history. Understanding this pivotal moment not only emphasizes our shared heritage, but also serves as a poignant reminder of how close humanity once came to disappearing entirely. It underscores the importance of studying our past to better appreciate the resilience that has allowed us to thrive and the vulnerabilities that could threaten our continued existence. Currently, scientists are grappling with a pivotal question. What transpired to cause the catastrophic decline of humanity, wiping out 98.7% of the population? While definitive answers remain elusive, researchers have tentatively attributed this mass extinction to what is known as the 0.9 million year ago, 0.9 MA event, and they are actively developing various hypotheses to explain it. This devastating reduction in human numbers could have been the result of a combination of adverse factors or perhaps a single, powerful incident that triggered a rapid and terrifying population decline, nearly leading to our extinction. A significant number of scientists concur that the primary cause was a dramatic cooling of the Earth's climate. This cooling was likely associated with heightened volcanic activity, which in turn led to a phenomenon known as a volcanic winter. During this period, global temperatures plummeted, transforming regions inhabited by ancient humans into frigid and inhospitable landscapes with poor soil fertility. Such drastic temperature drops would have severely impacted the ecosystems, causing entire ecological networks to collapse. Essential resources that ancient humans relied upon became scarce or inaccessible, much like a river that suddenly dries up, cutting off a village's water supply. In response to this environmental catastrophe, people sought refuge by constructing rudimentary shelters and resorted to consuming foods that were previously deemed inedible. These harsh conditions likely drove the human population down to a perilously low number. Had our ancestors been even slightly less resilient, extinction would have been unavoidable. However, this is not the only theory on the table. Some scientists propose that the 0.9 megaton event might have been connected to alterations in ocean currents and a phase of global warming, which paradoxically shifted the planet's climate in the opposite direction. Rising water levels could have inundated vast areas, leading to the predictable fallout of such flooding. The restructuring of ecosystems, disruptions in the food chain, widespread hunger, and increased mortality rates. Prior to the onset of the 0.9 megaton event, it is estimated that the human population may have been as large as several hundred thousand individuals. These competing theories highlight the complexity of understanding ancient human population dynamics. Whether driven by severe climate cooling due to volcanic activity or by drastic changes in oceanic patterns leading to global warming and flooding, the 0.9 million year event represents a critical juncture in human history. It underscores the vulnerability of early human societies to environmental shifts, 
and emphasizes the resilience required to survive such near extinction events. Following this catastrophic event, the human population experienced a dramatic decline. To reiterate, approximately 98.7% of individuals vanished, leaving humanity in a precarious state where only the most resilient and exceptional members survived. Consequently, the catastrophe that occurred 900,000 years ago spared only a few species, with some disappearing from the face of the Earth entirely. Imagine our planet transformed into a relentless arena where only the strongest could endure the brutal survival challenges. Certain species, such as Homo antecessor, were unable to withstand these extreme conditions and ultimately vanished. Homo antecessor is one of the most enigmatic ancient human species, inhabiting Europe around one million years ago. This species acted as a crucial bridge between Homo erectus and Homo heidelbergensis, linking our distant past with our evolutionary future. Although Homo antecessor was sufficiently advanced to utilize tools and engage in hunting, the severe conditions brought about by the 0.9 million year ago event proved to be an overwhelming obstacle. Despite their intelligence and skills, Homo antecessor could not survive the harsh environment, paving the way for the more adaptable Homo heidelbergensis to thrive. Homo heidelbergensis possessed superior cognitive abilities and were inherently more social compared to their contemporaries. Their use of more sophisticated tools and the possible mastery of fire provided them with significant advantages in the fight for survival. Research indicates that Homo heidelbergensis may have been the first to construct relatively sturdy shelters. The earliest evidence of such structures is a stone foundation discovered in Preslatica, Czech Republic, dating back approximately 700,000 years. This dwelling likely featured an arched roof made from thick branches or slender poles, supported by a robust foundation of large stones and soil. These advanced construction skills would have enabled Homo heidelbergensis to better withstand harsh climates and protect themselves from predators, thereby enhancing their chances of survival. However, the 0.9 megabyte event did not only impact ancient humans, but also had devastating effects on numerous animal species. This event coincided with what is known as the Middle Pleistocene Transition, a significant and long-term shift in global climate patterns. The 0.9 MA event may have been just one component of this broader climatic transformation. During this period, the world experienced substantial changes in climate cycles, which likely contributed to the widespread environmental upheaval that nearly led to the extinction of humanity. Understanding these ancient events provides valuable insights into the resilience and adaptability of early human species, highlighting the fragile balance that sustained our ancestors and the factors that nearly eradicated them from existence. By studying these pivotal moments in our evolutionary history, scientists can better comprehend the challenges our ancestors faced and the remarkable adaptations that allowed them to survive. This knowledge not only enriches our understanding of human history, but also underscores the importance of resilience in the face of environmental adversity. The changes that occurred were truly global, fundamentally transforming every ecosystem on the planet. Such extensive shifts almost invariably lead to mass extinctions. Numerous large mammals were unable to adapt swiftly enough to the rapid climate changes and consequently vanished. For example, saber-toothed cats like Megantirion did not survive this tumultuous period. Ancient canids, such as Xenochian, were nearly wiped out, and several species of early pumas also disappeared entirely. Marine ecosystems were not spared from these drastic alterations. Many small vertebrates vanished, and even large marine animals struggled to survive. Entire branches of ancient shark and dolphin genera went extinct. One plausible cause for the mass extinction in the oceans was a significant decline in oxygen levels within the world's oceans. This drop in oxygen was triggered by alterations in ocean current circulation, which were themselves driven by global climate change. It is nothing short of miraculous that humans did not become extinct during this event. The 0.9 million year ago, 0.9 million years ago, event dealt a severe and devastating blow to humanity, from which recovery was not possible for an extraordinarily long time. As previously mentioned, this period of decline did not span merely a few centuries. Instead, it extended over at least 100,000 years, during which it was uncertain whether humanity could survive at all. During this prolonged period, it was as if nature was deliberating and hesitating, 
ultimately deciding the fate of our species. Fortunately, humanity was spared from complete extinction. However, for the next several hundred thousand years, the human population continued to struggle and remained highly vulnerable to any significant threats. It was only around 70,000 to 50,000 years ago that humanity began to thrive and develop greater resilience. There was no single clear reason for this resurgence. Instead, ancient humans reached a critical developmental threshold. In the late Paleolithic era, people started creating more complex and efficient tools, which enhanced their abilities to hunt, gather food, and defend themselves against predators. During this transformative period, the first evidence of art, rituals, and complex social structures began to emerge. These developments likely strengthened social bonds and facilitated the exchange of knowledge, contributing to the overall resilience of human communities. Approximately 40,000 to 30,000 years ago, the first cave paintings appeared. For the first time in hundreds of thousands of years, it seemed that humanity could finally relax and invest time and energy into creative expression. This newfound stability allowed for the flourishing of cultural and artistic endeavors, marking a significant milestone in human history. Click on the video that appears on the screen to keep learning more on Extinct Planet.